Welcome to Fernhill Linux Project Guide on BIOS and booting from CDs and USBs. BIOS and BIOS instructions differ for every single computer, but uh, the instructions are all displayed on the screen. Okay, so here's a little trick to start this off. What we need is the pause break key, which is to the right of the F keys at the top of the keyboard. As soon as we see the first image, we're going to press the pause key to pause the BIOS so we can have a look at which keys we need to press next. Okay, let's put the CD in and switch the computer on. Press pause break now. Okay, you can probably see it at the bottom of the screen there's instructions which keys to press. F2 to set up go to setup utility and F12 to go to boot manager. We're going to use boot manager because that's the easiest way. So we have to press pause break to unpause the computer and F12 to go to the boot manager. Okay, so now you can see we're at the boot manager. If we were going to boot from USB we simply press enter as we want the CD we'll move down to CD and press enter to boot from CD. Okay, so there we go, booting from CD. I'm going to switch the computer off now at this point. Switch it back on. And the other way is to change the boot order. We're going to press F2 this time to enter the BIOS. Okay, that's pretty standard BIOS screen. We can see categories across the top. We want to go to boot. You can see at the bottom there's instructions. Okay, so we need to use the left and right arrows to select a menu. So we'll do that now. We're on the boot menu. Okay. So, we go to CD and we need to move that to the top of the boot list to boot from a CD. So, how do we do that? Let's look at the bottom. Change values F7, F8. It actually says that right here at the side. So, we'll use F7. Nope, that moves it down, so F8. We'll move it to the top of the list and it's as simple as that. So we need to save now. You can see the instructions at the bottom. F10, save and exit. Exit, save and changes. Yes. Now the computer is set to boot from the CD. So we should automatically start booting the CD. There we go, we're booting from the Ubuntu CD that we put in. And I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.